Honestly, I was scared shitless when I was on the bottom. Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle. So today's video is a story time. And it is about the time that I... I feel like I'm saying time too much. Okay, anyway. Today's video is going to be a story time about um, my experiences as a child in an all boys summer camp. I don't remember the exact ages that I went to the summer camp, but I know that I was probably in grade two and three. So, six, seven, eight, around those ages. And let me tell you, I dreaded going so much. It was just, it was just, it was not on my summer wish list. It just, it was not on the list. So basically for a whole entire week, you would go to this camp and it was probably like an hour and a half away. So it wasn't that far, but the problem was that it was an overnight camp and my parents weren't there. And I was very uncomfortable with that because I just didn't want to be separated from them. You go to a camp and you would do activities like swimming and you'd play games in like the forest and campfire and it was it was fun I'll give it that like the activities were fun the, the thought behind them was fun but you know when you're a child and you're uh, you're trans but you don't really understand it yet it's it makes sense now as to why I didn't like it that much but um, I guess you gotta go through these things so my mom and dad made uh, my brother and I go to this camp and I'm not gonna say the name of it just because we're not going to. Also, like, being surrounded by complete strangers was really weird out in the middle of nowhere. So, the first year that I went, I remember I was homesick every single night. I would throw up. I would literally cry myself to sleep because I just wanted to be with my parents. I just wanted to be home. I wanted to get away from this camp because it was just gross. I hated it. You had to be awake every single morning at, like, 8 o'clock and they would make you go out into this field and like stand and sing O Canada and I don't have a problem with singing O Canada but this field was wet and there were always little frogs like little frogs in the grass and I, every time I walked I was like I probably just killed a frog I probably just stepped on one and I probably did like a lot and I feel bad for those little frogs because they a lot of them probably died so I never really made that many friends I don't think no I didn't I don't think I made friends there I kind of just bull everyone and was like oh yeah I'm friends with you I don't know your name I'm never gonna talk to you again because this is horrible I was so uncomfortable in the atmosphere that you know I tried to isolate myself a lot but I did enjoy the games because I was an adventurous child I loved um, I love playing games it was really fun for me I'm very competitive so there was a lake at the camp but it was scheduled swimming times which I was not down for because a I hated my body. I didn't know why I hated it, but I would always wear a water shirt and I was always, you know, um, really self-conscious so I didn't really swim. I remember I would sand, stand on the sand and just look around at things because I didn't want to swim. I didn't want other people to see me swimming. I kind of wanted to be invisible. I think part of the bad experience is, what I, is that I felt really ostracized. I felt really um, left out, which sounds kind of hypocritical since I pushed myself out but I just didn't feel like there was anyone that felt the same way as me like oh my gosh I don't want to be here I don't like being around all these guys I'd be around I want to be around my girls I want to be you know doing things that are fun I just like the cabins that we slept in because for one they were so uncomfortable I hate cabins I hate beds in the cabin doesn't matter where I am I hate cabins I just dislike them with a passion I slept on the bottom bunk one year and the top bunk another year and honestly, I was scared shitless when I was on the bottom. Uh, I was scared shitless when I was in the bottom bunk because I thought that one of the bunk beds was gonna fall on me and kill me. <laughs> and I was so scared of it like every single time. And I hated that the only place we could change was in front of other people. Cause I was like, y'all are weird. A second year that I went, I faked sick so that I could sleep in the nurse's office for like three days because I just didn't feel comfortable sleeping with all these boys and they were like get out like you're not sick you're lying and I was like 
do you not get it? I don't want to be here. There is a story about an axe murderer that I, I hate that story so much. It was, um, I think it was something like there used to be a cabin 13 and then one night this random ass axe murderer just like came in and killed everyone and then they never found him and you know it scared me but at the same time I was like come, come out wherever you are and take me with you so that we can get out of here like let's go I'll hide you if you get me the hell out of here and you know bring me home like we'll make a deal obviously it didn't happen because the axe murderer as far as I'm concerned was fake. The best part of the camp was called air bands and basically your cabin had to make a performance of some sort for the end of the week and it was uh, it was a competition. I remember the first year air bands was we did a medley to the song called Hooked on a Feeling and I forgot what the other one was called but it was I think like Roseanne or something and I was pressed because I was like why aren't we dancing to Britney Spears? Really? That's the real question here. The next year I kind of got my wish because I remember we did Avril Lavigne Girlfriend and <clears throat> this part kills me every time. So I was like in charge of everything because the cabin leader was like, I don't care, you guys do what you want. So I was like, we're doing a Girlfriend by Britney Spears and what they did is they had basically like costumes from the girls camp so they had like wigs and they had dresses and stuff and I saw those and I was like that's me so I remember I had this pink dress and it was so ugly but I got to wear a dress and I got to wear a wig and I was so passionate about this performance and I remember that one person did one thing wrong during this performance and I started crying in front of everyone I was bawling my eyes out and I ran away and everyone was like where are they that was the only good part of it but even then it was bad so I told my parents basically don't send me back there ever again I told them that the first year but they were like oh give it another shot maybe you'll like it and I was like I'm gonna hate it I'm going to want to drown myself in that lake okay so they were like oh, just give it a shot and I was like honestly fine okay but I went a second year and I hated it again and I told them this is not for me. I do not like this camp. I don't like being away from home. It's not fun being like throwing up every night. I think being trans but not having that full consciousness that you are trans is what made it really difficult because I felt completely out of touch with everyone else there. Everyone else was doing things and I was like, I should feel like this. I should fit in, but I don't. And it was really difficult for me, but now looking back on it, I completely understand why. And I will say that the experience did scar me because I hate camps now. I, I despise camps. But um, it really did give me a sense of clarity about why I did not like the camp. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time video. If you want more, I can do like story times about my childhood and stuff. Um, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.